tell us a fun fact about yourself a retro taste let's say i don't mind going to a 1980s shop to old music neutral color hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl here lisa i know if you are new here you are welcome to this family hope you subscribe hit the notification button and stay with this family if you are a returning viewer to welcome once again i really appreciate you all these are other platforms that if i'm not active on youtube you can find me on my ig or my instagram account lisa9 snapchat and all of that you can follow me up on the social medias if you don't find me here so these are some of the places where i put this anonymous question ultimate q a questions that you can also put in your questions for me to answer them i have an amazing video for you today you ask the question and all of your questions matter and i'm here to answer all of them so without any further ado let's get right into this video so guys let's start um by addressing some personal questions you guys asked and i'm going to answer them yeah so first question here is what motivated you to create your youtube channel i quite remember on my first video as an intro i made i had this um get to know me thing and this was one of the answered questions but yeah i'm so it doesn't spoil anything if i answer this question because some of you still want to know what pushed me why i'm doing this and all of that yeah that's a great question indeed so considering always i've always had the passion to documenting stuff taking pictures of nature everything you know it's you know how easy it is when you want to tell a story by showing a picture or an album or a video to someone it's easily understandable and you don't stress by explaining hey i went to the mountains when you climbed up that makes it more boring than documenting it and putting it in a video form it's quite simple and clear as soon as the person sees all oh, this picture here oh she's been there before this is how the place looks like so it summarizes everything so this is what i have a passion for and why not put that into creativity i also wanted a forum where i could express my ideas and experience uh, and it felt like the ideal way to meet individuals with same interests and experiences as me is through YouTube. So that's the reason why or oh, that is what backed me up in starting a YouTube channel. Hope I've answered this question well. Yeah. So yeah, let's move to the second personal question that was being asked. So this question went like, let me put up my data. This is disturbing. So here's the second question. Can you tell us a fun fact about yourself? Sure, why not? So one of the fun facts about me is that I have the love or I am a vintage or a I have a retro taste, let's say. Like I am into this old classy vintage aesthetic kind of things. If you don't know, this is one fun thing about me. I don't mind going to and in 1980 shop to go for this old music music has to play than going for a soundcloud hitting music of a recent trend or a gen z whatever so this is one fat fact about me i don't mind i love this um classic aesthetics these antiques items old music neutral colors this is one fat fun frank <laughs> one fun fact thing about me and i'm sure those close to me know this but then my friends also here need to know one of the fun fact about me as well so yeah that's pretty much it now let's go into the inquiries regarding the channel and the content i produce here and uh, please keep those inquiries coming and i'm willing to answer you so here's the first question under this one this question is how do you come up with your video ideas you mean the creative process um so yeah um everyone personally myself i find inspirations from some of these youtubers who have started ahead of us even in the bible if you want to become a great person you kind of have a leader or someone who inspires you just like elijah and elisha so yeah i first thing i do is to find inspirations on the net people having the same ideas niche like what i do uh, 
same um, experience or interest as mine i do get inspirations from them then again i do research this is a whole um video to make an answer to this question but yes this is one of the processes i find inspiration from other youtubers and personally do researches use other ai tools for video ideas and how to go about it so if you're interested in this particular question and of how i go through my creative processes you can drop down in the comment section below and i'm going to see to it and make a whole full video of that because it's a lot this process is a lot not every youtuber is going to sell out the truth here I hear if you are interested I don't mind sharing that with you the next question here is how do you balance filming and other commitments like how do I balance filming with other things maybe work or home any other thing I do so yeah time management is the essential thing here if you don't know how to manage your time you are not going to find yourself within a balance sheet of other things and creating content so i what i usually do is i flow with um, the feel like if i want a video i do but here like the case youtube or as a content creator you need to be consistent and all of that so i usually come up with a um, planner a calendar to be specific oh this week i'm going to film a video and edit it in this particular week so it's not going to crash with other things i have to do if other equally important things outweighs the or crashes with the schedule time i have to video and edit why not i'm gonna brush or see this under the carpet and do what is most important before i come back to my content creation so basically this is what i do to balance with other commitments as well as creating content let's wrap up with some advice and a preview of what's coming up so this question was asked uh, what should you offer for someone looking to launch their own channel absolutely i'm going to advise this person to find what he or she is interested in putting out there not just interested but you find yourself comfortable putting yourself out there and not stressing and just looking at what others are doing so find a particular thing you're interested and comfortable about you can't just do any video or just put everything on the internet and at the end of the day be like you want to create content we're not comfortable about it so first of all you need to find the interest in doing so and how you are comfortable and you feel easy in going about it no stress and life is not a race and one of the most important thing is you have to keep developing don't be discouraged don't give up yet because this is like starting something new with these early obstacles you would at a point want to give up but don't since consistency is the key and you want to reach this target audience and at a point where you need to end your worth and whatever effort you put in you don't need to give up you need to keep up coming with ideas and keep trying other videos sitting behind the camera and you're still gonna get and at a point in time you're gonna get used to and comfortable as time goes on and you're gonna reap whatever you saw and most importantly have fun because like guys or that's why the fact that you're just putting out content and trying to reproduce or recreate what others have done you need to be in it and have all the fun in it because at the end of the day at the end of the day you can't produce all this and sit back and be stressed up you are causing wahala to yourself you are not earning anything or gaining anything so the eighth question here is um can you give us a hint about any upcoming project or videos of you um this is a great question okay so i've got some incredible and well-planned content that i would like to put up here and these are diys which I know it's part of my niche but i haven't put any of those videos come on i have a lot of crazy stuff to put out there so be anticipating this ones and these are and others others are five minute cards info daily motivation videos and all of that so you don't want to miss all this out guys the ultimate q and a section is over and i really appreciate you for your time and engagement and for sending in your questions and comment i appreciate you all for your support and have an amazing time and don't forget to give a thumbs up subscribe 
like and share this video don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload any new video or videos like this you can also put down in the comment section below any video suggestions any ideas you would like to see me any videos you'd like to see on my channel i'll be glad and i'll welcome all your suggestions thank you